We decided to build our own home because it's an ambition that I certainly held and I convinced Jacqueline that maybe yes we can do it even though it seems daunting at the start and it's something we just took on board and started. We inherited the plot when my mum died. Uh, it's a place that I remember fondly and was determined to bring it back to life as I remember it. Originally there was two houses on the plot, uh, the one that we demolished and also one that used to be at the front. We were absolute beginners when we started the build. Um, the first house we started in 2007, never done anything like this before. We actually completed in 11 months. In 2008 we started the build of our current house. This is bigger so it took longer but actually only took 14 months in total. Our house is in the middle of a conservation area in the, in the village. To gain planning permission, we had to work with the Potten Architects to agree on a design which was sympathetic to the village and also worked in with what we wanted from the house. The planning office is still using both houses as a reference site for new builds, uh, new planning applications, so we're pleased that we've done something right. When you place the order with Potten for your timber frame kit, they issue you with a um, practical guide to building your Potten home. It's an invaluable reference document, if you like, or a bible of how your house is put together. Um, notes for your builders, notes for yourself on the typical build schedule, what you need to do before the timber frame arrives, when it arrives, uh, what you need to coordinate with the build programme, the way your builder has to do certain things at certain times. It, it just guides you through the whole process from start to end and we used it so much that it could almost recite it line by line. During the build, John did most of the project management. I tended to do all the sourcing of the products, which were like the tiles, the electric fittings, and basically everything that you can see in the house. And when we demolished the house that was here originally, we reclaimed various items on the site, including milk bottles, because it was a dairy. The builder took it upon himself, and he's actually put them in the walls. He also found a teddy bear, which is a strange thing, and he put that in the wall as well. We reclaimed all the wire-cut bricks, which there was about 4,000 of them, that's actually done the uh, two inglenook fireplaces, the, some of the garden work, and also the chimney. We also unearthed the quarry tiles that we've got on the patio area, which, well, I think they look very good myself. <laughs> The advice that I would give to anybody considering a self-build would be to do your research, make sure you know what you're getting into, um, be confident in your ability, um, go for it and just persevere. You will get what you want if you try hard enough. exciting part was something that we designed and and we've built and we finally moved in it's it's almost surreal and for me one of the most exciting times during the build was the day that the scaffolding came down and the whole house was visible to, for everybody to see it's just like unwrapping a present mm -hmm. 